Hello guys, this is Sharun here from 24-7 Techie and in this video I am going to show you guys an overview of the Bliss Pop ROM on OnePlus One. You guys just saw the booting up of the ROM. I have been using this ROM for about a day now and have been getting good performance about, out of it. As you can see the ambient display is working. So we will get started with the ROM overview. As, we can, as you can see pull down is working. Uh, it mainly works with everything. I found this ROM to be pretty decent because uh, uh, they've given us a lot of customization also, but they've also given us given us the normal functionality of the Sun Engine mode. So, as you can as you can see, the Sun Engine mode has still not implemented these all settings in their 12.1 nightlies but uh, they have uh, added it they've also added a kernel auditor to which we can uh, manage our cpu um, cpu gpu screen battery and everything so as you can see m most of the settings can be changed most of the settings can be uh, twerked in this uh, the maximum frequency and the lowest frequency we can uh, set it and boot and we can also apply it anytime we can also change the settings of the display quality if i turn this on and i change it it is changing right now as you as you can see it is changing so we can uh, do whatever c color we like we can even do it by no single digits so that when we find it, uh, it to be perfect we can stop on that like I, it looks good right now I will stop on that and as you can see I have installed the gaps also so we it all it also comes uh, pre-installed with a lot of uh, settings like the bliss pop interface this is the setting which comes uh, through which we can edit each and everything as you can see Uh, first of all we will go in the status bar we can edit the clock date time and everything we can also turn on the uh, incoming traffic and outgoing traffic and we can also turn to auto hide if it's less than 10 kbps and we can also switch it off as I'm not using internet at all it's at 0 kbps per sec kbps so I'll uh, auto hide it uh, if it's less than 10 kbps so these, uh, I really found these breathing notifications uh, to be a great thing. If we switch it on, it will, uh, whenever a notification regarding these three comes, uh, it uh, and uh, we swipe down the notification draw, drawer, it will uh, come up like it's breathing. The notification is breathing. The unread notification is breathing. We can also switch on the uh, Bliss Pop logo. It really looks good. As you can see on the top right, top left. Yeah. we can even uh, set a greeting for us like if I set it with it's a, it's a default at welcome to bliss pop we can write so whenever I come back come on the screen it will be welcome 24 7 tech key yeah it really looks good it has given us a little bit of more personalization in the ROM and uh, it looks good it is snappy we can even switch on these I will show you these so we can go into anything from here you just have to swipe our finger from right side so if we go into messages it is good it is snappy it's fast and we'll go back into the navigation options and yeah we can edit these like uh, it's on uh, the center one is on google this is, this is actually uh, present in uh, sun engine mode so i won't show you this a lot so we can also uh, edit the home button the hardware button to navigation bar buttons and we can even change the layout and everything i really like this button this is actually a power button what does what this do is if we are if we are using uh, if you're using the phone like this and uh, we don't want to reach the status bar uh, so what we can do is go and uh, click this button so this and it's on it's in sleep now 
memory bar it will show you the memory that is remaining so as you can see on the top it's uh, it's showing that uh, 1.9 1.9 gigs is available actually 1914 MBs are available so yeah it's only using a gig in a 3 gig mo model that's good enough and shows shows search bar in the recent it, it is showing the google search bar it is showing the uh, uh, remove all button in the bottom right which is actually comfortable then going here in this an engine one it is in there here so it is better over here and we can even uh, do it anywhere so bottom center we can even do it here it looks good wait it, it is aligned yeah and i'll show you uh, omni uh, omni switcher so what does what this do is if we switch it on from here and here so what this do is um, we can switch to any rom and uh, that are open from here like messages which uh, which we open earlier on and if we if we click this uh, state also it will come with this which is really good uh, it is uh, good to switch between the roms but i really didn't like the animation in this so i will be sticking to my normal this one but yeah it's good to try if you like it good enough yeah, it's still on but uh, it will come with like this so it's good option to keep both on so the notification drawer has all the default uh, customization like the quick pull down from right left or off they have not given a center heads up notification they have given us the option of customizing the heads up notification which all apps can be put into do, do not disturb and which all will be put in the blacklist the lock, lock screen options are good actually we can change anything in this as we can add the weather and uh, like uh, as you could see I have added the weather in this which, is, which looks good and uh, gives us all the information at once we can even change the color temp color of the weather that is outside uh, that we have put so if I put it like this on the red color so it will come as red and display music visualizer that is normal stuff power options when we press power button what all should be displayed like if we switch it switch everything on yeah so as you can see there are a lot of options now and we can customize it to ourselves like I don't need the sound panel I don't need device lockdown because I've kept it here Sh setting shortcut is good over here airplane mode I don't travel that much profile switcher I don't use profiles different profiles screen record I do use screencast I use screenshot sorry screenshot I do use quick quick click uh, reboot I do use yeah I use these all so I will be keeping these four options just anywhere we can add any gestures so if I've added one of them yeah I added C for calculator so we can add gestures and if we press from right side and type C then the calculator has come up so I just added the calculators widget we can uh, change the animation of the scrolling and everything I've set it on default we can change it on anything like this so anything can be changed in this this is actually customization and app circles or the, the draw that I've op opened so I'll switch it off and I'll switch it this one also off. as you can see we are done with all the right side and left side gestures I like to keep it simple a little bit yeah I am using other uh, customizations but I like to keep it a little bit simple so yeah themes are all supported it comes with the uh, with the system default theme I'm, I'm using a different wallpaper right now that's all sound display we can change the display that that's all this uh, default values that come there so guys in my opinion the ROM has been pretty stable for a while I've been using it for a day and I've got a good 
good battery life not extraordinary i got around four and a half hours of battery life but that was its uh, first uh, first uh, boot or first run so we can't really judge it on that but uh, it has been good as you all can see it's running on android 5.1.1 and bliss pop version 3.2 i really don't know why 3.2 <laughs> and it's an official build there's no one official build or nothing in that okay guys this was a quick overview of uh, the bliss pop rom on the one plus one it has been running fine on the one plus one yes i've been getting good good battery life if we compare it to the stock cm12 yeah, I got a, a screen on time around four, four and a half hours for the first uh, day of the ROM, so that was pretty decent. And uh, m maybe it will uh, go, uh, it will improve in a, in a little bit of uh, update and all. Nightly's update, they are coming up with the nightly's update. We have, I've updated it once. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope it helped you guys. And uh, if you like this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like this video, vote it down but do leave me a feedback why do you, why you didn't like the video so that i can improve on that and guys do subscribe to the channel i will be back soon with uh, more such uh, rom videos and everything if you if you want to see something particular about some rom or some something else or any topic do contact me through any medium i will be leaving all the links through which i can i am available so just contact me and I will try and make a, make a video or get you a best solution regarding that. I will be back soon with a lot more videos. So stay tuned to the channel. Do subscribe.